Hello everybody, this is Gilbert Woods and this is my first review of a figure. I'm going to be looking at the NECA 12 inch tall by 24 inch long plus figure. Uh, I have a few others to compare it with. By far this is one of my favorite Godzilla figures. The posability on this thing is extremely well. There's over 13 points of articulation in the tail alone. The jaws, the head, the neck, is on a double ball joint the head is on a single ball joint the waist is on a single ball joint that can go all the way around the leg has three points of articulation counting the foot can go all the way around 360 the knee can rotate 360 in and out forward and back the heel can rotate pivot in and out all the way around the arm can go in and out like that all the way around the elbow can go all the way around has a joint here and there. The hand can do is on a ball joint, can go all the way around, up and down. The mouth opens really well, and if you look real close, inside the mouth there's a nice tongue. Sorry if my camera is not picking up all right, I'm doing it with my phone. This tail is where it's really awesome at. You have a joint here, here, here. There's over 13 points, and just like it's moving in water, man. This thing can do just about anything. But you do have to attach the tail, and I recommend you use a hair dryer to soften it up before you even attempt it because you could break this little sound effect in here. If you can hear that, there's a button to push there. He'll roar pretty good. Poseability as you can see, I have him standing on two legs, tail off the ground. The head can really tilt real good. The sculpt on this thing is just phenomenal. I don't know how well you all are picking that up, but I'll zoom in a little bit closer. It might get a little furry there, but like I said, this is my first review, and it is a very nice figure. Of course, some of the hips, when you pose it in certain ways, don't quite set right, as you can see there. But the paint, the fit... And just the overall sculpt of this thing is phenomenal. Some of these things will bend. If you take a blow dryer and heat them up, they'll take a pretty good pose once they cool. They do come bent a little bit out of the box, which I'm not going to show because a lot of other reviewers are doing that. But if you have the little one, this thing is just about as well done as the little one is as far as posability. This one's a little bit better maybe because of the tail not being a bendy wire but actual segmented joints. But I do have the little one here for comparison and it'll stand pretty good as well. As you can see you can get them pretty much in the same pose. But like I said this is a bendy wire where that's segmented joints. Overall these are awesome figures. A lot of people are going to compare them to the SH Monster Arts, but when you think about it, this thing costs 20 bucks. It's 6 inches tall, about the same size as an SH Monster Arts is going to be. And it only costs 20 bucks. This thing is 24 inches plus long, 12 inches tall, very well posed, hardly any exposed joints on it, and it's going to cost cheaper than your SH Monster Arts if you buy it at Toys R Us. I paid $59 for this figure. $21 for this one. And just for the heck of it, if I can get him in screenshot, here is by far the biggest Godzilla 2014 figure. And you can see the size comparisons right down the line. And this thing doesn't have hardly any other articulation that these other two do. And I paid 50 bucks for that one. But it's still a really nice figure for a kid's toy, more or less, where these are more collector-oriented. And just for the heck of it, here's my grandbaby's 12-inch Bandai figure with its feature, as you can tell. I hope you all have enjoyed my video. Uh, like I said, it's my first attempt. I do apologize if it isn't that good. Next time I'll try to be a little bit more organized. But I just thought I'd let everybody look and see what they was getting. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Um, hopefully sometime I'll do some other videos. Thank you. Bye.